In my opinion, the minivan is the most practical vehicle in the world. Just think about it. If you need to haul around your whole family or a, a bunch of people, say you need to move things around, keep them dry in a van, how about all-wheel drive as an option and get amazing fuel economy with a hybrid system? Look no further, that vehicle is the 2021 Toyota Sienna. Now, earlier we had a chance to do a video of the launch of this minivan, but today we're actually gonna have a full walk around. So whatever you wanna see, we're gonna show that to you. We have two prototypes and we have a current generation Sienna to compare them with, right after this. Now to do this walk around, we have to go to Toronto where the prototypes are, but we're on the West Coast and unfortunately it's still not considered essential travel. So we are gonna stay here and we're gonna do this virtually. We have a helper with us. We have Olivier from Toyota Canada. Welcome Olivier. Hi Brian. So you have two brand new Toyota Siennas right behind you. Tell us about this new Sienna. It's on a brand new platform. It's new from the ground up, is it not? That's correct. So it's been completely redesigned inside out. It's the all new 2021 Sienna. And uh, you're right, Brian, it's based on a new platform. It's a new Toyota global architecture. And it's what we call the K platform, the same one we use on, on uh, the Highlander, for example. I can see it. It does have some resemblance to the Highlander, especially for the styling. Uh, I think it has even, oh, I kind of, in my Highlander video, I think it even has a little bit of Supra in, it, in, in the rear end though. Um, talk us through a little bit of the, of the different looks that you can get with the Sienna and where did the styling come from? So indeed it's been completely redesigned. You can see behind me uh, the platinum grade and the XSC, which is our sporty grade. And uh, I don't know if you, Brian, or your viewers have been to Japan, but in Japan, they have a high-speed train called the Shinkansen, or the bullet train. And that's what is inspired uh, our designer for the front of the vehicle. But you can also see some SUV inspiration in the design. The one right behind you, the red one, this is, uh, is this a new trim for a Sienna? Because it definitely looks, uh, it looks pretty sporty. Yes, it's the uh, XSC trim. So it's a uh, uh, sporty Sienna. You can see that there's a honeycomb grill, uh, the smoked headlights, there's a beautiful 20 inch uh, black aluminum wheels, uh, there's black badging and it, there's also a sport suspension on that vehicle. This compared to the previous model or the current model I should say the 2020 which will show some shots here because you actually do have one to your right of you you have a brand new uh, 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 2020. What is the difference in dimension wise is this any difference in size with this new platform at all? So we don't have uh, the, the numbers yet. Unfortunately, I can't give you any numbers uh, today, but it's very similar in size compared to the previous generation. Okay, so standard features on the exterior. Uh, what, kind of, what kind of lights are we getting? Or do we, do we get LED headlamps on, on the Sienna and tail lamps at all? Yes, yeah, so LED uh, lights are standard and it's both headlights and tail lamps. So you get your high beam, low beam, uh, tail lamps, even the turn signals are LEDs. Okay, so there's one thing I'd like you to do. Can you walk over to the back of the white one there? And uh, what trim is that yeah. one, by the way? So the white one is a platinum. It's a brand new grade uh, for 2021. The first yeah. generation, uh, the limited was a top grade. We still have a limited, but now we have an even more luxurious grade, the platinum. All right, so let, let's take a look at the, at the back. I want to open up the, the back hatch to give the viewers a, a look and a tour of, of what it's like in the new Sienna now. Now, let me tell you a little bit of a story. I was about to buy a, a new Sienna a couple years ago, and I tested one for actually two weeks. And the one thing that really bothered me was the back hatch, was, it was power operated, but when you squeeze or the trigger to open up the back hatch, a power hatch, it didn't do anything. You actually had to manually lift it up, which I figured, what's the purpose of having a power hatch? Yes, it would work by power with the key fob and with the button in the inside. And it was a deal breaker for me. So do me a favor, squeeze that handle, see if this power hatch actually works. All right, let's do that. 
Okay, look at that. It actually opens when you actually squeeze the handle now. How simple is that? Now, also I read that this also has the, the, the hands-free option as well. Yeah, so first thing is the power hatch is standard on all the grades. And on the upper trims, you do get uh, the kick sensor. Uh, so you can open it even if your hands are busy. Okay, now, with, Sorry, now this, is, this is live. We've got, we've got a weed eater, weed whacker going here. <laughs> okay, so let's move over to the side because you're going to show me another new feature. What do you have for us now? All right, so we have a power sliding door. That's nothing new, but what's new is that there's also a kick sensor. So if your hands are busy and you have your your key in your pocket, you just have to put your foot. There's a little sign actually that shows you where to put your foot. And and the door opens automatically. Okay, that, so we have that, that on is, both sides. Okay, I, that was my next question. So it's on both sides. Yeah. That's a really, really handy option. Why don't you have a seat in there and let's talk more about the interior of this Sienna. All right. All right, so. So we're now sitting in the uh, top grade, the, the platinum grade, and uh, the second row is actually very luxurious because you have access to a, um, an entertainment system with an 11.6 inch uh, high definition screen. There's a refrigerator as well. Uh, there's a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and so a refrigerator and a vacuum cleaner. So uh, those are in the center console. We'll show some shots of that. now. I, there's a refrigerator it operates as a freezer as well. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So there's two modes. There's a refrigerator mode and there's a freezer mode as well. When would you use the, the freezer mode? Because this only operates while the vehicle is running. That's correct. So I don't know, you're doing a road trip with your family. Uh, you just bought ice cream and um, you're just waiting to find a nice spot to eat it. So just put it in there and until times come to eat it, it won't melt. Okay. Okay, that, that, that is, that's there. That's a good answer. And the vacuum cleaner, that's always handy. And uh, so you access it through the middle and you empty it through the middle bin as well. Uh, are those available as an option or is that part of uh, just the platinum package? It, it's, it's part of the platinum package, yes. And we decided to put that vacuum cleaner in the center of the vehicle. So it's easier to, uh, to vacuum in the front, in the rear. It's, it's centrally located. I can tell you one thing, I have tested other minivans in the past that actually had a vacuum cleaner and it is extremely, extremely handy. It really keeps your van or your vehicle a lot more clean because you end up vacuuming it way more often than you would normally vacuum. Uh, so the seats there, this is a, a seven passenger that we're in right now? That's correct. So there's two configurations available. There's a eight uh, seat configuration on the LE and XLE. And there's a seven seat configuration with captain chairs on uh, on XLE Limited Platinum and XSC. Now these slide uh, is, is a class leading in how much room you can actually get in the second row. It's they slide a lot, don't they? They yes. So we have new uh, sliding rails and they're 25 inches long. Uh, so if you slide them all the way to the rear, you have a lot of space for your legs. We even have a limited versions with the Ottoman. So the reclining seats, very comfortable. Wow, okay, so yeah, so a reclining seats and an ottoman, that is very, very comfortable. Can you give us a slide? Are you at the, at, at the, at the max uh, slide right now? No, I can slide uh, further to the rear. Okay, excellent, uh, excellent. Now, and and can, you, can you ask Romeric, the camera person, if he can pan down to see your, your legs? Can you look down to see my legs? All right. Okay, so, okay, that's, that's quite a bit of room. That is quite a bit of room. And how tall are you, Olivier? Um, I'm um, six foot nine. No, sorry, <laughs> five nine. Five nine. <laughs> like, wow, six foot nine, you're a giant. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do the conversion in my head, but yeah, it is five nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, oh, okay, let's talk about the front styling. It's totally different compared to let's put an image up here of the current generation and put an image up here of the new one walk us through uh the new styling of the interior and what's available now so interior has been completely redesigned and you can especially see that for the for the dash and the central console area so we have a new multimedia screen it's nine inch 
uh, and it's standard on all the grades. It's compatible with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and you can probably see on the images that there's a lot of storage space. Uh, we have a new central console, but what we call a bridge console, and it, it's great ergonomics, uh, gives you additional comfort, and there's a lot of space underneath to put a bag or purse or computer. Uh, we also have lots of USB uh, ports, including USB-Cs. Uh, so for connectivity, uh, the Sina has really been fought for, for families. Uh, is there a head-up display now? Yes. So for the very first time in the Sienna, there's a 10-inch color head-up display, uh, and you'll get that in the platinum grade. And for people that want to do maybe some tailgating or some camping, uh, I believe there is now, I'm reading here that there's, uh, is there, uh, there's a 1500 watt inverter uh, in the Sienna now, is that correct? That's correct, so you get a 120 volt uh, outlet and you can plug the device up to 1500 watts. Which I'm telling you, that's enough to power your blender, uh, pretty well anything. And is that standard or is that an option to get or part of a package to get that 1500 it, it, watt? It, it's available, you would get that on the uh, higher trims. Okay. The second row that you're sitting in right now, can yes. you take those seats out? I had a question about that. Someone asked me, you know, it's like, can you take those rear mm -hmm. seats the, rear, out at all? So, no, you cannot take them out. Uh, you can uh, sort of fold them and slide them all the way. Again, the, the first one, it gives you a lot of space uh, in, in the rear. But okay. you cannot remove them. And, of course, the third row actually folds flat, though. Yes, it completely folds flat in the trunk, yes. Okay, so new, uh, new exterior, new interior. The big news though is, is new powertrain. Tell us about that. This is the big one. All right, so the Sienna, the 2021 Sienna only comes with a hybrid powertrain. So it's a, a combination of a gas engine. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and it's combined with our uh, two motor uh, hybrid system with, uh, for the front wheel drive and it's a free motor hybrid system for the all-wheel drive. And all those grades, except the Platinum, are available in front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. Platinum is only available in all-wheel drive. Is this the same system used in the new Highlander hybrid? Yes, that's correct. So we're talking 243 horsepower, um, 3,500 pound towing capacity, which is still the same. Um, yes. And so it's four-cylinder. A lot of people are going to cry, though, and they already have been. They're saying, you know, I don't want a four-cylinder. I want a V6. What do you say to people saying that? Um, well, remember that the gas engine uh, is combined with two electric motors. So when you need power, uh, you need to pass a truck, for example, on a small road. Uh, the gas engine and the electric motor will give you the power that you need. I really invite uh, your viewers uh, to, to try this vehicle when it's available, and they would be surprised by, by the, the, the power, but also the smoothness, the smoothness and the fuel economy of that vehicle. Okay, well, I, I can't wait to actually show the viewers, and also I can't wait to drive it myself. Now, getting back to towing, 3,500 pounds, do you need a, a towing package or anything to achieve those type of uh, numbers? No, so it uh, comes standard with a Siena, all the Sienas from the entry level LE all the way to Platinum. They get uh, 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 the towing package, uh, which is uh, mostly about cooling. Uh, of course, you, you have to buy a hitch, uh, which is an accessory that you can get from our dealers. But uh, you don't have to add an option to get the, the, the 3,500 pounds. Okay, so yeah, so you get the engine cooler, you, you know, get the larger radiator, mm -hmm. all those things that you need That's for correct. need for towing there. Okay, so you have that. Uh, do, is, are there any fuel economy numbers, or should we just look at the Highlander Highlander numbers? So we don't we don't have uh, the final numbers yet, but uh, we have an estimated 7.1 liter uh, per hundred kilometers combined for the fuel economy. Safety wise, what kind of features can people expect on the Sienna? Okay, great question, Brian. Uh, safety is very important for Toyota. So standard on all the Sienna, uh, the second generation of Toyota Safety Sense, which is our active safety uh, suite. It comes with a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection and cyclist detection, lane departure alert with steering assist. We also have lane tracing assist that centers you in your lane uh, on the highway. Uh, full speed uh, dynamic radar cruise control and auto automatic high beam. All these uh, features are standard on all Sienna. 
Since we have Toyota Canada on the line, let's see how important the Sienna is to their lineup with VP of Toyota Canada, Stephen Beatty. Welcome, Stephen. Hi, Brian. It's nice to see you virtually. Yeah, it's been a while. You know, hopefully we can uh, see each other in person soon and, and, and test drive your car. Um, I, I'm looking forward to that. I, I have the feeling that um, you know people are really eager to get out in their cars again and uh, you know even start doing some day trips and stuff. So um, I, I think it's time to be talking new cars. Yeah, no, no kidding. So tell us, how important is a Sienna in your lineup and this move to go full hybrid, do you think you're going to lose out on some sales for the people, the hardcore people that really want that gasoline only engine? You know, I, I think increasing numbers of Toyota buyers uh, understand that, uh, that hybrid's the way to go. Um, you, you get better power application, you get better fuel economy, a much smoother drive. Uh, overall, it's just a, a way superior experience. So I, I, don't, I don't see any issues with it. And, um, and, and frankly, you're seeing that all across our lineup, whether it's RAV4, whether it's Highlander, you know, Camry, Corolla, uh, hybrid technology is taking over. So I, I, I think that's great. Now, um, on the subject of where does Sienna fit in, um, you know, at the end of the day, we've seen a big shift over the last number of years of people from the minivan category into three-row three SUVs. But at the end of the day, for its stated purpose, which is to move people and things around, there is absolutely no better vehicle than a minivan. And um, so we think that if we can give you a minivan with great looks, incredible technology, and uh, all of the benefits of hybrid, that, uh, that there's great opportunity here to, to do some things in, in the minivan segment. I've said this for years, the minivan is the most practical vehicle you could possibly buy. It really is, hands down. So how have Sienna sales been in general in, in the last few years, though? And do you think this hybrid and this new one is really going to help that out and kick it up? Yeah, I mean, as I said, obviously, you know, minivan sales generally aren't where they were, um, you know, back in the 1990s, for example. Uh, but our uh, our sales have, have held quite uh, quite stable, and uh, you know that's with a that's with a model that was admittedly getting pretty long into its uh, into its model life. We think this new one with uh, with the new style, new technology, um, is going to spark some uh, some renewed interest. Uh, there are lots of happy CN owners out there as well um, who uh, might use this as an opportunity to take a take a look at. Uh, are replacing the van that they're currently driving, um, but you know overall, as I said, I, I think if, if you look at uh, this segment of the market, um, by going all hybrid, by uh, having all-wheel drive with hybrid technology, uh, we think we've got something that makes a lot of sense for Canadian drivers, and so we're very excited about. It. Do you think this is the way to go, being just the one powertrain only, and it happens to be hybrid? I am I'm completely convinced by it. Uh, and when you look at the sales number of a RAV4, you can see that our RAV4 hybrid has a lot of success. So uh, Canadians are more and more interested by this type of vehicles. Yeah, speaking of RAV4 and the RAV4 hybrid, uh, I own a hybrid, I own a Highlander hybrid, and I do enjoy that. But the RAV4 hybrid also comes now in the Prime, the RAV4 Prime, the plug-in hybrid, where mm -hmm. is the plug-in Sienna? Like, is that going to happen? Is this is this the the first step? So, um, I, I cannot comment on on future products, but what I can tell you is that it's a big step for Toyota to move uh, from from the V6 to the to the hybrid system, and uh, it's a no compromise vehicle. You don't need to plug it. Uh, you just fill the, the the tank of gas. Uh, just like a regular vehicle, it drives the same way as a regular vehicle. You just go to the gas station less, less often. So a big step for us. Pricing and availability, can you tell us anything there? No, so pricing will be released later, uh, closer to the launch date. Availability, it will be launched uh, this fall. I don't have an exact date to give you, but it will be this fall. And where is the Sienna made? The Sienna is made in the U.S., uh, in our plant in Indiana, just like the Highlander. 
Just like the Highlander, made in the USA, this is a no compromise vehicle. Like I said earlier on the intro, there really is no better, more practical vehicle than a minivan. And if you've been waiting and you're on the fence to get a minivan, you really need to check this out because you get all the best things. I do want to try it out myself, uh, the 2.5 liter hybrid system. You don't need a lot of power driving a minivan. You normally want to drive as smooth as possible, uh, but uh, you know, it'd be interesting to see, you know, you put something on the back, tow something with it and see if it, uh, how it handles. So that's it for this walk around. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, see you in the next video.